3. Critically endangered, killer whales from Canada are pregnant, scientists say. Here's a summary of the article. There are currently only 74 southern resident orcas left, down from more than 90 in the 1970s. The three pregnancies are in what scientists call the J-Pod, a group of southern resident killer whales. Members of the pod are named starting with the letter J, and a number. The three mothers to be are J19, J36 and J37. University of British Columbia researcher Josh McInnes, with the Marine Mammal Research Unit at UBC's Institute for the Oceans and Fisheries, said that although killer whales have a high rate of miscarriages and infant mortality, he and other researchers are excited and hopeful at least some of the three pregnancies will help rebuild the endangered species population. Southern resident orcas are listed as endangered by the Canadian and U.S. governments as their salmon food sources dwindle and shipping traffic creates noise and often deadly animal collisions. Southern resident killer whales are distinct from northern resident populations, as well as transient orcas. In June, the federal government issued an interim order for the protection of southern resident orcas, boosting existing regulations impacting shipping traffic in BC waters where the species is known to travel. The southern residents are iconic for us, McInnes said, and we're really hoping that there's some survival for the new calves ahead. This post received a score of 23,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I love good news like this. Thanks for sharing. I love good comments like this. Thanks for posting. I love good replies like this. Thanks for responding. I love good threads like this. Thanks for thanking. Love good thanks like this. Thanks for thanking. Thank good thank like this. Thanks for thanking. As a priest, I like a good paladin. Thanks for thanking. Penis. I love good penis like this. Thanks for sharing. I love good body positivity. Thanks for being naked. Spock. Gracie is pregnant. Dr. Gillian. How do you know that? Nobody knows that. Spock. Gracie does. Star Trek 4 is best Star Trek. Nuclear Wessels. Great news. I hope they don't starve. Don't worry. Orcas don't starve. They're one of the most efficient hunters on the planet, and use only 5% of their time to satisfy their food needs. IIRC. Watched a shitton of orca documentaries a couple of years ago. J-Pod is made up of resident orcas who don't migrate and feed exclusively on Chinook salmon, which if I recall is either threatened or endangered around the San Juan Islands where J-Pod lives. These orcas might starve sad face. I'm from Northern Wa State and it's a sad truth. I don't understand why they haven't started hunting seals but I wish they would. Edit. That made it sound like I have a deep hatred for our local seal population. That's not the case. I'm mostly just terrified that we will lose our resident orca pods and I'm willing to accept the fact that some ocean dogs might have to get eaten. NOAA, the federal government, just passed a measure to limit fishing as well. This is in addition to planting more salmon to feed the whales of the Pacific. It's great news but only a small step. They make special permission to still keep commercial and net fishing occur in okra habit areas. Bummed about being a sports fisherman being limited more now but also believer in science and there's more fish than 10 years ago and pregnant whales so carry on. We should definitely call them orcas if we are already here to promote conservation winking face. These specific whales are federally US listed as part of the Southern Resident Killer Whale or Sinus Orca distinct population segment DPS under the Endangered Species Act ISA. Though it doesn't market as well as orca for these charismatic megafauna, legally they are killer whales. And to be clear, it's this population that is endangered, not orcas at large, who are the most geographically widespread wild mammal on the planet, unless you count brown rats, but I exclude them because they spread with humans. It's still important, though, because orcas, likely the most intelligent mammal after humans and definitely the most emotionally complex, perhaps even more than humans, have cultures. So think of this population as a local tribe like you might think of a tribe of indigenous people in the Amazon. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.